If you're interested in learning about stair building and stair construction, you're at the right place. Here's a nice picture of a framing square with two of the stair gauges attached to it. If you look to the right of the framing square, you will notice that there's already a couple of pencil marks for the stair stringer layout. You can see that the position of the stair gauges is extremely important. Here's a good shot of the stair stringer and the framing square positioned for the next stair step or stair tread marks. We're using the riser mark from the previous stair layout or stair or framing square position um, to make our next marks and line the stair, um, the framing square up correctly. So if we take a look, there's a 10 inch stair tread and we're lining it up with the 11 and a half inch mark. The 11 and a half inch mark is directly across from the 10 inch mark on the other side of the framing square. I like to use the opposite side of the framing square and sometimes I'll even put a pencil mark on the 11 and a half if I'm using a 10 inch stair tread. Um, anyway, this is a great way to lay out your stair stringers and uh, watch some more of our videos because I might not have explained everything that I wanted to here, but I also don't want to make four hour videos. So bear with me here. We hope you enjoyed the video and if you're interested in learning more about home improvement, home repairs, remodeling, and even new home building, visit some of our other websites.